Hey, my name is Andre, and in this video, I'd like to share with you my takeaways from the book The Power of Now. Moreover, you'll see how similar it is to Landmark Forum and how these two complement each other. If you either read the book or you did the Landmark Forum or you're simply interested in both, this video is for you. So what is Landmark Forum and what does it have to do with this book? According to their website, the Landmark Forum is designed to bring about positive, permanent shifts in the quality of your life in just three days. These shifts are the direct cause for a new and unique kind of freedom and power. The freedom to be at ease and the power to be effective in the areas that matter most to you. The quality of your relationships, the confidence with which you live your life, your personal productivity, your experience of the difference you make, your enjoyment of life. Basically, Landmark Forum promises that they will transform and improve the quality of your life. I did Landmark Forum in January and because it had such a huge impact on my life, I was looking for a book that was similar to Landmark and The Power of Now came up in most of the search results. So is the book a cheaper alternative to the Landmark Forum, which costs a few hundred dollars? The answer is no. With Landmark Forum, you get another 100 plus participants that share their life story, their pain and struggles in life. And you get to see how the forum leader works with them and coaches them. And just by observing this whole thing, you can realize certain things in your own life. And the second thing is there's a strong emphasis on doing uh, the assignments. So again, this is something that you don't get when you just read the book because you're just on your own. And even if you understand what the book is trying to say, you may not take the action. But if you are like with a group of 100 plus people and you see that they take the action, like everybody's like on the phone call all the time, they're trying to complete their past, trying to complete the relationships. This is something that should hopefully drive you to take an action uh, for yourself. And just to share my own, my own experience, I was very hesitant uh, during the first two days of the seminar. Like when I was taking notes, most of my notes were LOL or, or what the fuck, you know, because I'm like a very analytical and rational person. So I was, I think I was trying to rationalize most of this. And I also thought that my life was pretty good. So why would I need to change something? Uh, but really over the course of the three days, it, it really got to me. And especially once I started doing the assignment. So the first kind of like crack for me was when I wrote like an imaginary well it wasn't imaginary i was actually writing i wrote a letter to my mother mother about my past and how i was raised and then at the at the end of the third day i finally found the courage that i haven't found in 33 years and i kind of like emailed my mother and i told her that we need to speak and so then I went from just writing the letter, which already kind of gave me certain relief. I went from just writing the letter to actually making a phone call, which then kind of like inspired the whole thing and started the whole transition. So, so yeah, what I what what I what I'm what I'm trying to say is that um, if you're just reading the book, you're on your own. So. Most of us, I think most of us in this world uh, have certain fears, they have insecurities that that originate like in our childhood or, or, or when we were growing up. And so it's really naive. I have to say it bluntly, it's really naive uh, if you think that just by reading the book on your own, you will suddenly have all the force that you need to, to overcome these insecurities and deal with the fear. And that is what Landmark Forum is about. It's about completing your past. So, yeah, finally I'm, finally I'm more present, I think, instead of just trying to 
uh, read the script that I prepared. I'm more about sharing the experiences and just being present. Okay, so next thing, next I'd like to do is I wanna share with you some of the notes that I took uh, while I was reading this book. And I will explain to you how it connects to my experience with Landmark Forum because the topics uh, are pretty much the same. Your mind uses you. It's a disease. You believe that you are your mind. This is the delusion. The instrument has taken you over. The beginning of freedom is the realization that you are not the possessing entity, the thinker. Knowing this enables you to observe the entity. The moment you start watching the thinker, a higher level of consciousness becomes activated. So all this mind and thinker, it's basically the same as inner voice, uh, which was taught by Landmark Forum. And it's basically this. So even, even though I wasn't saying anything, your mind was still going on, like why, why is he not saying anything, what's the reason for the pause and stuff like that. So I really identify myself a lot with the thinker. I thought it was like one of my greatest assets that I always think about stuff, but I can see how limiting it can be. Uh, moving on to the second one, the voice belongs to your conditioned mind, which is the result of all your past history, as well as of the collective cultural mindset you inherited. So you see and judge the present through the eyes of the past and get a totally distorted view of it. As you grow up, you form a mental image of who you are, based on your personal and cultural conditioning. Call it ego. This is what Landmark calls the, the genesis of identity and it's basically the things that happened in your past when you were a child, child or where you were like a teenager. So something happened uh, when you felt like something was wrong for the first time or that you didn't belong and this basically shaped your identity. And again, the, the book puts an emphasis on, uh, on the past that we dwell too much on the past and as I just quoted, we make decisions in the present based on what happened in the past. We are basically trying to recreate the situations from the past or the conditions that were applicable in the past don't apply anymore, but we still kind of make decisions based on the past. If you don't face it, and that's the pain that lives in you, if you don't bring the light of your consciousness into the pain, you will be forced to relive it again and again. Or is there something that you should be doing but are not doing? Get up and do it now. Alternatively, completely accept your inactivity, laziness, if that is your choice. So this part uh, reminded me of the concept of completion that is very strong with Landmark. And it's basically the whole idea is that we carry like a lot of mental baggage with us because we don't deal with issues. For example, like if you have like an argument with someone, you don't confront it, confront them directly. You don't discuss it directly. Maybe you start behaving differently towards that person. So there's a huge emphasis on completing. And that's what I was trying to share with you before that so i lived my whole life with a lot of questions about my childhood and um, how i was raised and i was very hesitant to share it because i wasn't feeling comfortable with it and so now when i had this discussion with my mother who was the, basically the person who raised me uh, to me i kind of completed the past and it really felt amazing after that there is a place for mind and mind knowledge. It is in the practical realm of day-to-day -day living. However, when it takes over all aspects of your life, including your relationships with other human beings and with nature, it becomes a monstrous parasite. If you set yourself a goal and work toward it, you are using clock time. 
You are aware of where you want to go, but you honor and give your fullest attention to the step that you are taking at this moment. If you then become excessively focused on the goal, perhaps because you are seeking happiness, fulfillment, the now is no longer honored. Your life's journey is no longer an adventure, just an obsessive need to arrive, to attain, to make it. This is where the book actually helped me understand what I didn't totally understand during the Landmark Forum. When I went to the microphone uh, during Landmark Forum, I was doubting and I didn't understand like if we are expected to simply turn our mind off because you know, like I said earlier, I'm like really fond of my thinking and my and my analytical skills. So I didn't get my answer during the Landmark Forum, but this book actually helped me understand it. So it's like, we should be using our mind and our brain power when it's practical, like, you know, like to solve new, new challenges or do our work. But the problem is that we are using our mind even when it comes to like human relationships or just being with people or just, I don't know. Basically, we, we run our mind 24 7 and because the mind also uses a lot of things from the past it basically like kind of like distorts the whole experience of our lives to the ego the present moment hardly exists only past and future are considered important it is always concerned with keeping the past alive because without it who are you it constantly projects itself into the future to ensure its continued survival and to seek some kind of release or fulfillment there. It says, one day when this, that or the other happens, I'm going to be okay, happy, at peace. One day I'll make it. Is your goal taking up so much of your attention that you reduce the present moment to a means to an end? Is it taking the joy out of your doing? Are you waiting to start a living? If you develop such a mind pattern, no matter what you achieve or get, the present will never be good enough, the future will always seem better. So this is a very important learning that also Landmark has. And Landmark is basically about us chasing the carrot, you know, like we always want to accomplish something first and then maybe we'll do that, you know, we want to have money so that we can, I don't know, start a family. And then once we have the kids, then maybe then we'll have time to, to do what our passion is about or maybe like start a business or something like that. And I was, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good example of that, that I always try to sequence things. Uh, so I first have to finish like the, the mandatory things before I start doing what actually matters to me. So, and I'm pretty sure that most of you can relate to that as well. So it's really about chasing the goals just to get to the next step so that we can finally be happy and feel fulfilled but we should be feeling fulfilled like at any given time last one if you no longer want to create pain for yourself and others if you no longer want to add to the result of past pain that still lives on in you then don't create any more time or at least no more than is necessary to deal with the practical aspects of your life. How to stop creating time? Realize deeply that the present moment is all you ever have. Make the now the primary focus of your life. Say yes to the present moment, to life. And see how life suddenly starts working for you rather than against you. I choose this part to be the last part because uh, landmark forum kind of finishes with this and uh, it's that life is happening now and now and now and now so and that's basically what the whole book is about it's the power of now so it's about living in the present moment uh, rather than dwelling on the past or thinking or being too focused on the future and just surviving the life until you get to a certain point in the future so yeah so those were my few key takeaways from the book and my experience from landmark forum and let's get to the end some of the quotes that i shared with you or my experience with landmark forum resonated with you please feel free to start with the book because it's simply a more financially affordable way to get into this whole topic of spirituality and 
presence. If you already read the book and you want to pursue more training or you somehow didn't get it or you know that you will never take an action, I definitely suggest that you start saving money for landmark forum it's a couple of hundred bucks so it's not going to break the bank really just think about the impact that it could have on your life if it's something that could really like transform the way you think you can like remove the mental blockage that you have you can meet some great people through landmark forum then it's definitely worth the money if you would like to hear more about my experience with landmark forum or landmark advanced course i would be more than happy to answer your questions or create another video just to give you a rundown of how my experience with especially landmark forum went i have all the notes i know what i did afterwards i know how my life changed so i would be more than happy to share with you because it also helps me to share my experience so please just let me know in the comments Feel free to ask questions or just request a full video about Landmark if you guys want to. Finally, if you did Landmark Forum already and you're considering this book, definitely go for it. Uh, you'll find it very familiar and it might help you answer some of the questions that you still had after Landmark Forum. And that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching this video. I usually don't provide a lot of content regarding this topic i may plan to do more in the future so i will be totally okay if you don't subscribe but if you like it at least please give it a thumbs up